God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. In ancient times God spoke to man through prophets and in varied ways, but now he speaks through Christ, his Son, his radiance through eternal days. To God the Father of the world, His Son, through whom He made all things, and Holy Spirit, bond of love, O glad creation, glory sings. O Lord, arise to help me. O Lord, plead my cause against my foes. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise to help me. O Lord, say to my soul, I'm your salvation, for my soul will be joyful in the Lord, and rejoice in his salvation. My whole being will say, Lord, who is like you, who rescue the weak from the strong, and the poor from the oppressor? Lying witnesses arise and accuse me unjustly. They repay me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. O Lord, arise to help me. Lord, plead my cause. Defend me with your strength. When they were sick, I went into mourning, afflicted with fasting. My prayer was ever on my lips, as for a brother, a friend, I went as a mourning a mother, bowed down with grief. Now that I am in trouble, they gather, they gather and mock me. They take me by surprise and strike me, and tear me to pieces. They provoke me with mockery on mockery, and gnash their teeth. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come, at the end of the ages. Lord, plead my cause. Defend me with your strength. My tongue shall speak of your justice all day long. O Lord, how long will you look on? Come to my rescue. Save my life from these raging beasts. My soul from these lands. 
I will thank you in the great assembly. Amid the throng I will praise you. Do not let my lying foes rejoice over me. Do not let those who hate me unjustly wink eyes at each other. O Lord, you have seen, do not be silent. Do not stand far off. Awake, set my defense to my cause, O God. Let me be joy for those who love my cause. Let them say without end, Great is the Lord who delights in the peace of his servant. Let my tongue shall speak of your justice. All day long of your praise. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. My tongue shall speak of your justice all day long. My son, keep my words, keep my commandments and live. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Announce it in Judah, proclaim it in Jerusalem. Sound the trumpet in the countryside. Shout the message aloud. Mobilize. Take to the fortified towns. Signpost the way to Zion. Run, do not delay. I am bringing you disaster from the north, an immense calamity. The lion is up from his thicket. The destroyer of nations is on his way. He has come from his home to reduce your land to a desert. Your towns will be in ruins, deserted. So wrap yourselves in sackcloth, lament and wail, since the burning anger of the Lord has not turned away from us. Look, he is advancing like the clouds, his chariots like a hurricane, his horses swifter than eagles. Trouble is coming, we are lost. Wash your heart clean of wickedness, Jerusalem, and so be saved. How long will you harbour in your breast your pernicious thoughts? For a voice from Dan shouts the news, proclaims disaster, from the highlands of Ephraim. Give warning of it, announce it in Judah, proclaim it in, proclaim it to Jerusalem. Enemies are coming from a distant country, shouting their war cry against the towns of Judah. They surround Jerusalem like a watchman round a field, because she has apostatized from me. It is the Lord who speaks. Your own behavior and actions have brought this on you. This is your fate, how bitter, how it pierces your heart. I am in anguish, I writhe with pain, walls of my heart. My heart is throbbing, I cannot keep quiet, for I have heard the trumpet call and the cry of war. Ruin on ruin is the news, the whole land is laid waste. My tents are suddenly destroyed, In one moment all that sheltered me is gone. How long must I see the standard and hear the trumpet call? This is because my people are stupid. They do not know me. They are slow-witted children. They have no understanding. They are clever enough at doing wrong, but do not know how to do right. I look to the earth to see a formless waste. To the, heaven, to the heavens and their light is gone. I look to the mountains to see them quaking and all the, all the heights astir. I look to see no man at all. The very birds of heaven had fled. I look to see the wooded country a wilderness, all its towns in ruins, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of his burning anger. 
Yes, thus speaks the Lord. The whole land shall be laid waste. I will make an end of it once for all, at which the earth will go into mourning, and the heavens above grow dark. For I have spoken and will not change my mind. I have decided and will not go back on it. The whole earth trembles, O God, at the presence of your burning anger. Lord, have mercy on us. Do not utterly destroy us. Restore us again, O God, our Saviour, and turn away your anger from us. Do not utterly destroy us. A reading from the Confessions of St. Augustine. When the day was approaching on which she was to depart this life, a day that you knew, though we did not, it came about, as I believe, by your secret arrangement, that she and I stood alone, leaning in a window, which looked inwards to the garden within the house where we were staying, at Ostia on the Tiber. For there we were away from everybody, resting for the sea voyage, from the weariness of our long journey by land. There we talked together, she and I alone, in deep joy. And forgetting the things that were behind and looking forward to those that were before, we were discussing in the presence of truth, which you are, what the eternal life of the saints could be like, which I has not seen nor ear heard, nor has it entered the heart of man. But with the mouth of our heart we panted for the high waters of your fountain, the fountain of the life which is with you. Such thoughts I uttered, though not in that order or in those actual words. But you know, O Lord, that on that day when we talked of these things, the world with all its delights seemed cheap to us in comparison with what we talked of. And my mother said, Son, for my own part, I no longer find joy in anything in this world. What I am still to do here and why I am here, I know not. Now that I am, uh, now that I no longer hope for anything from this world, one thing there was for which I desired to remain still a little longer in this life, that I should see you a Catholic Christian before I died. This God has granted me in superabundance, in that I now see you, his servant, to the contempt of all worldly happiness. What then am I doing here? What answer I made I do not clearly, clearly remember. Within five days, or not much longer, she fell into a fever. And in her sickness, she one day fainted away, and for the moment lost consciousness. We ran to her, but she quickly returned to consciousness, and seeing my brother and me standing by her, she said as one wondering, Where was I? Then looking closely upon us as we stood wordless in our grief, she said, here you will bury your mother. I stayed silent and checked my weeping. But my brother said something to the effect that who would be happier if she were to die in her own land and not in a strange country. But as she heard this, she looked at him anxiously, restraining him with her eye, because he savoured of earthly things. And then she looked at me and said, See the way he talks. And then she said to us both, Lay this body wherever it may be. Let no care of it disturb you. This only I ask of you, that you should remember me at the altar of the Lord, wherever you may be. And when she had uttered this wish, in such words as she could manage, she fell silent, as her sickness took hold of her more strongly. Our time is growing short. Those who enjoy life should live as though there were nothing to enjoy. And those who deal in worldly things should not become engrossed in them. 
I say this because the world as we know it is passing away. It is not the spirit of the world which we have received. I say this because the world as we know it is passing away. Let us pray. God our Father, comforter of the sorrowful, you accepted Saint Monica's offering of tears for the conversion of, a son, of her son Augustine. Help us by their intercession to be truly contrite for our sins so that we may receive the grace of your forgiveness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God.